Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Recently I've been receiving many inquiries from people who are new to paper flower making and want some advice on how to start. The questions I get cover many variety of areas from what kind of paper do I use to how do I upload the SVG file into my CreCAD. So I have decided to address all these questions by creating a series of short videos and hope you find them helpful and please give me your feedback. So this, this is the very first video and I will be talking about how to upload your SVG file to CreCAD. Okay, so once you have downloaded your um, SVG file, you, um, you need to save it. Either It's gonna be either in your downloads uh, folder or um, I saved my on the desktop and you open up your Krika design space. You choose new project, click on it. And uh, here is the little button that tells you upload. We're going to click on that one and upload image. You can simply drag your file um, or you can use the browser. Uh, my files are already um, pre-sized and they are ready to cut. So uh, we just do upload and here it is. Your file is kind of saved in your library of images. So no matter what you do in the future, uh, it will stay as it is, even if you um, using your project and you modified it somehow. Um, to up, now to bring this file into your Krika design space, it is highlighted as you can see. Well, this is what you can do. You can highlight multiple files and uh, click on insert image. And voila, your file is here. So as I mentioned before, my files are already sized and you have uh, all the petals and every, the base and the centerpiece, everything you need. So you can just go ahead, click make it. And uh, the Cricut will automatically distribute all the... Um, all the images uh, on the floor mats. Here, if you are using a different kind of paper rather than 12 by 12, you can click uh, this uh, drop box and choose the letter size and it will kind of refigure out what it needs to do. Uh, so um, now you're ready to click on continue. Uh, well, uh, my... Um, my Cricut is not plugged to my uh, computer, so it's it's not it's not saving that no device is found. But basically, it, it will say go ahead, and you can just uh, um, you can just uh, uh, keep on cutting. Um, now um, I'm gonna cancel right now and show you one more thing. Um, so. If you want to modify the file somehow, you want to make the petal smaller or bigger, what you can do, uh, you can highlight the whole thing, uh, click on group, and this will split um, the uh, images um, separately, they put them separately. Uh, so in this way, you can make it bigger or smaller, either dragging this, this uh, little arrow, or you can as well use uh, the parameters on top. So for example, I want the height of my petal only two inches and I click enter and I get two inches. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any further questions, please, uh, address them uh, and um, if there is anything else you want to know let me know thank you for watching this little video hope this was helpful again and have a lovely day